we had a couple a couple of instances um, through workshops where I remember there was this girl. She was in a, an older age group, it was like a sixth class, and it was the first, she stood up and she had an SNA in the in the class. So, um, but she stood up and she read out um, her story, and and it was a great story. You know, it was her ending to the story, and literally. The whole place went silent. The whole class was silent because usually there's a round of applause. And the teacher was standing there, and the teacher kind of started crying. I was kind oh, of going, wow. "God, oh my God, what have I done?" I was thinking, "Oh, what have I done?" And this was the first time the girl had ever spoken oh, out loud goodness. in the class because she had a stutter. She'd had a stutter, oh, you wow. know, and she had been very self-conscious and had never spoken in the class. And the whole class is in the coat. Gosh, what? gosh. And then everybody just broke into this kind of thing. And the teacher was there going afterwards, you know, because, you know, the, the facilitator at the time was going, she's never spoken in the class. That's the first wow. time they've heard her voice. And you go, why, what, I what was what the element that? there? Yes. What caused yes. that? And it was... It was a class, it was with the class, but it wasn't a classroom it environment. Of, it, it has a momentum, a, men, a momentum a develops. Momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And next thing it's like, one person reads and it's, can I read next? Mm -hmm. And can I read? Mm -hmm. And it gets to the point where sometimes there isn't time for everybody mm -hmm. to read. So the, it, this kind of communal vibe happens yes. where everyone's done the same. And like a story, the stories can be so different with the same starting point. I think that creates a confidence. Oh, it's a the, huge thing, that they isn't carry it? through Bins all their thing. schoolwork. You can approach things differently, and all is valid. And you know, they do feel, I think, don't they, safe within the Fighting Words yeah. bubble, shall we call it? That yeah. safe space yeah. where they can just be. There's no right and wrong. That's, That's what right. you said. There's no right and wrong. That's right. They can just be, and even things maybe that might be coming up that they have even happened at home. We even find that, or a little yeah. problem that might have happened at school or something yeah. and they might share it so we kind of provide more even than just helping with their writing I think their well-being Absolutely. it comes into you know a yeah. big factor in it kind of shakes you up to get out of the physical class I mean you don't have to even to pull the desks back and the chairs back within a class or turn backwards and pull yeah. yeah I think when you're in the classroom it's all about in some cases crowd control yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. or keeping the focus mm -hmm. or you have to get through the syllabus mm -hmm. or you have to do this mm -hmm. and there's just something about breaking that there's an awful lot to kind of associate the fighting words and, and the opening up of this creativity with a change in physical space.